what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's been a great day today we're going to be limiting some of the chrome trim on my bmw 750i now for a lot of you guys who uh, don't like the way chrome looks like on cars like i don't uh, a good way to do it without plastic dipping is to vinyl wrap it and it'll last a lot longer than plastic dip for sure uh, it's a little bit tougher to do because it definitely takes some time and practice but if you get it down it definitely will pay off in the long run uh, i'm show you guys what the product i'm going to use today because i've definitely had a lot of great success with this product it's vivid wrap and they have really really good vinyl um, i'm gonna show you guys on the bmw what we're going to be eliminating today we're going to be eliminating this chrome trim right here in the front because i don't like the way that looks it looks kind of odd with the whole bumper beam in black and the whole front end so we're going to be eliminating that on the car today and we are also going to be eliminating the chrome on the back right here on this bumper right there so we're going to eliminate that eventually i'll do the chrome on the trunk but now i'm just going to do this one for sure today because uh, i think these are pretty easy to get off so we'll start with that today and I'll show you guys how easy this vinyl is to work with especially on easy trim bump pieces like this doesn't take very much so let's go ahead and get the tool to get this off and then we can get started all right guys so we're on the bench i have the vivid carbon fiber wrap this is what i'm going to use to be wrapping the chrome trim uh, this is from vivid they have some really really good vinyl on it, and i love the way this stuff goes on it does a really good job uh, you get yourself with some little pry tools like this to get some of the trim items off these help a lot to help not scratch the paint if you use metal ones you risk a higher chance of scraping your trim and your paint so i definitely recommend some plastic ones like this um, i'm gonna go ahead and get ready and show you guys how to take this off all right guys so on this bmw here if you own a bmw and you have the same kind of bumper setup as mine these little trim items here are not not bolted in they are actually just pressed in so if you can get one of these reach behind there and just pry it back you can pop it off really simple just like so get this one off right here there we go and once you get it off we'll go ahead and take this over to the bench all right guys so i got both shrimp pieces off of the car now and i already wiped them down i like using this wipeout stuff this stuff works really well as far as removing any kind of waxes or oils off the trim items and getting it ready for any kind of surfaces this helps really really well and you guys gonna want to use a heat gun i got this off like harbor freight that's all you really need nothing really nothing fancy just a heat gun a little squeegee and a cutting blade to cut the um the vinyl once we're done so once we get the vinyl here on the bench we want to go ahead and get our wrap ready so what we want to do is you want to get just enough wrap that covers most of the items so for instance this one we don't need very much we'll probably cut this one in half um so you want to at least an inch past uh the trim item you're going to be vinyl wrapping so you want an inch past here inch past here and an inch past here get a little pan here and we're going to mark where we need to cut uh, all right so now that we got our piece of vinyl that we need let's take this off a perfect piece and like you said there you go so all we need to do is peel this off and like I said, this is take some practice, guys. So this is gonna go on pretty easy, especially on this uh, flat piece of chrome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lay it right here and kind of just get it secure. Like so, and then now we can just start working out all of the bubbles so you want to work your way from the middle out and once we get to the edges here uh, this is where we're going to apply some heat and just pull it over so we don't have any creases because once we try to lay it over here on the corner it's going to want to uh, kind of crease over so right here we'll just heat this up and just pull it over
wrapping. Wrapping what? The chrome. So as you guys can see, once you heat this up, it gets pretty, um, pretty soft, and where you can stretch it, but without it being, um, like right now it's actually pretty hard. I know it's actually pretty hard, but once you heat it up, it actually gets really like just soggy and like melt away, but you can stretch it pretty far. So. Go ahead and just wrap this all the way across. Like so. Make sure it's nice and clean. And what I'm doing here is just I'm going to cut a slit here with this is and and I'm just going to cut some it off on top and then that way some of it stays here and then the rest of it I can fold over. So see how it's turning here, it's going to crease right here, so I'm going to have to fold it, I'm going to have to heat it up. Cut some of this excess off. All right guys, so there is our chrome crimp piece. That was the other one. Big difference. Way the big difference. That looks a lot nicer. So like I said, that's why I keep at least an inch amount in the back so that way I can go ahead and lay it over. It's got enough to it to stick to the back. Uh, and then you can cut the excess off whatever you want right here. So it sticks to it. Go ahead and take it over to the car. We'll put this on the car, see what it looks like on the car. A lot better than what it was looking like before. All right, there you go. So there, there is the chrome. Nice, clean look. Uh, way better than having um, chrome there. So that looks nice. Now we just got to do the other side and the back, and we are good to go. All right, guys, got the car turned around. The sun's coming out a little bit, so I'm gonna show you guys the carbon fiber. See how it turned out and came out looking really good. It looks a lot better than the chrome, that's for sure. So now I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do the back. On the back, guys, I did find out that the lower trim pieces do not uh, come off like the front ones. These are actually double-sided tape to the back and these plastics are actually pretty brittle so I don't want to break it or crack it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut a piece of uh, carbon fiber uh, vinyl and just lay it over and then vinyl wrap it on the car and same thing for these up here. I'm going to go ahead and attempt this as well. Alright guys so I got the back one wrapped uh, on the driver's side. I did it on the car and it actually came out really good. Um, took a little bit of time and actually took me two tries to get it looking really good. Uh, but on the passenger side, uh, the reason I didn't take the driver's side off because it was double sided tape uh, like this one. But this one at least I could get it off without it breaking or trying to crack. Uh, the tape seemed, or at least the double sided tape on the passenger side didn't seem to be on as good as the driver's side. On the driver's side I tried taking it off and it seemed like it wanted to break. It looked like it was glued on there really really well. So that's why I wrapped this one on the car. Uh, a little bit more difficult because what ended up happening was I couldn't get into the corners good enough but what I found out what I needed to do was I actually um, I pried uh, back on the corners so I can get at least a gap between the bumper and the trim so I can at least tuck the wrap behind it pretty good using these little uh, 
uh, tools here, you can get these with the wraps. These are going to help you tremendously, especially when you're wrapping a trim item on the car. You can better tuck the wrap behind it when you heat it up, then you tuck it behind nice and clean. Uh, but like I said, what helped me was actually peeling up some of the trim on the back of the bumper so I can get some gap back there. But uh, on the driver's passenger side, it's going to be just like the front. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it off the car, make it a little easier so I can tuck it behind pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty pretty satisfied with the driver's side coming out really good with it being on the car. Um, so it kind of helps because it doesn't move around, but it also makes it a little bit tricky uh, when you're trying to cut because you don't know where the edges are sometimes and you don't want to cut too far down. You don't want to cut too far up because then you add much more material to tuck behind. So it looks good. So we're going to leave that one on and then I'm going to do this one off the car. All right, guys, the car is done, and man, the vinyl came out looking really good. I'm so glad that I went with the vinyl on this carbon fiber wrap. It looks really good on the car now. And man, if you guys are looking to delete some of your chrome on your car, I definitely recommend looking at some Vivid vinyl. This stuff is actually really, really easy to work with, and it goes on super smooth, and that's what actually helps you out as far as when you're doing it, because uh, you want some vinyl that kind of gives a little bit of give and it's not going to fight you when you're trying to put it on and vivid vinyl i mean i'm telling you guys this stuff works really really well i definitely recommend it uh, i'm gonna put a link down for the the vinyl that i use on today's video and like i said i didn't really record everything because like i said this is going to be kind of like a universal thing every car's gonna be a little bit different but it takes some practice and some time uh you may get frustrated but you know what just stick to it and it'll go on trust me just figure out your own technique and the way to get it on Everyone has their own little, little, little ways, uh, but yeah, I'm going to put all the tools. Definitely the tools helped out a lot as far as adding the vinyl, as far as like tucking it away. I definitely recommend you guys using some of these little tools here. These work amazing. These get into really tight spots and are going to help you uh, tuck the, the vinyl behind the trim items. Uh, this one works good, but it's kind of thick. This works for little bigger items, but this one right here, these actually work really really well so i'm going to go ahead and link these out down below um like i said guys if you find this video helpful please like please subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one